And despite a global pandemic and intense surge here in Michigan, students are still required to take federally mandated standardized tests. This has frustrated school leaders across West Michigan. 13 on your side's Angela Cunningham is live this morning with some of their biggest concerns. Angela, good morning. Good morning, Jay. Yes, these tests are given to students every spring. It's supposed to be a way of evaluating their performance in certain core subjects, but some school leaders say the stakes are simply too high to give these tests during the current circumstances. Now, the U.S. Department of Education denied Michigan's request for a blanket waiver, so the tests such as the MSTEP must go on. In fact, many schools have already started to administer them. That said, these tests must be given in person, and that's a problem from districts like GRPS, who says roughly 40% of its students are still 100% virtual, and the other 60% are only on campus just two days a week. We were under pressure because of these mandated assessments that are still required currently uh, even in the midst of a global pandemic, we were bringing in 100% of high school students in that grade level to take this test at a time when the COVID positivity rate is the highest in the nation and among the highest in the state of Michigan here in Kent County. So again, this doesn't make sense. Unfortunately, that, ha that has that threat not only of the impact on grades and assessments, accountability, but now it's also an impact potentially on the health, safety, and well-being of students. Now, Helmholtz says another problem is using what he says will be unreliable data for evaluations. 40% of a teacher's evaluation is based on student growth, and schools' accountability ratings are also dependent upon these test scores. Helmholtz fears educators and districts will be penalized for a situation they have very limited control over. Now, the feds did grant some waivers, such as requiring high participation rates right now, state lawmakers are working on legislation that would, among other things, temporarily pause using these this data for evaluator performances, evaluating performances, and also the third grade reading law. Helmho encourages parents to reach out to their lawmakers and encourage them to push this legislation through. Back to you.